This is the IBM Virtual Network Operations Center. It's a 3D virtual world application designed to provide uh, aggregation of data center and uh, information systems management capabilities into a 3D virtual world. So we'll just zoom in on a couple of different areas of the command center. Uh, first we'll meet our tour guide, uh, AI number one Arliss, who is actually the VNOC administrator and he'll be uh, giving us the tour today. What we have in front of us is a, known as a display bank and a couple of interesting things on the screen. This is the holographic enterprise interface which is a Java server component that provides the communications between the 3D world and the 2D world. We have one of those per data center that we have online. The board in the middle you'll see is actually protocol instrumentation. We have a, a developed a special protocol to get the information uh, transmitted between the, the 2D and the 3D internets and uh, the map that you see is basically a, uh, an image of the sites that we have online coming into the data center. So we're able to support uh, multiple distributed geographic centers and, and provide a comprehensive consolidated virtual view of uh, resources with familiar metaphors such as server models and screens and things. This next bank of screens we'll see uh, a couple of different kinds of information. This one shows the status of virtualization and systems information. Um, you know, the various IBM systems we have in the center here. Screen in the center shows uh, enterprise level summary information about operations and, and service levels. And this screen gives us a security summary and some information about network operations. So we'll just uh, take a walk on over and go down on the floor and take a look at some of the equipment down there. As you can see the observation deck gives you kind of a bird's eye view of both the display banks and the uh, the infrastructure down on the floor. Um, this particular area is a little office or administrative area. This is where AI number one Arliss actually sits when he's not giving tours. Um, and Just a little meeting area for avatars to get together. Um, we'll take a look at a couple of live models here. Um, this rack of systems are actually um, connected up and, and designed to mirror real systems that we have down in our data center Bethesda and you can see we've got uh, various uh, CPU utilization and memory uh, availability statistics coming out there. Those are updated uh, from the actual physical system when there's a change in the parameter and um, you know these actually are correspond one to one to actual physical systems that are that are in the data center so we're able to instrument any system that we have there for this kind and other kinds of information as well this next area shows uh, an example of a multi data center multi-site uh, load balancing based on uh, temperature and power situations. The workload is represented by the red beams coming from the router there into the, the center and as the beams get thicker it indicates an increase in workload as you can see by the server and the disk meters there. As that happens we have a corresponding power consumption and temperature increase um, as you can see by some of the gauges uh, in, in the uh, data center wall that show increasing uh, temperature and power. So what's just happened is we've exceeded a threshold and generated a power threshold alert. When that happens our autonomic manager will begin to rebalance the workload to another site that's uh, using less electricity and, and maybe in a cooler region. So you can kind of see the, uh, the increase in workload there and the thickness of the, the beam indicating the workload being redirected to the cooler site and we've ended up resolving our, our power condition by moving the workload. Uh, we'll take a look at a couple of other models that we have representative of our systems. Uh, here we have a, a blade center, very similar to the other models. We have models for all of our equipment series. This is a piece series that I'm able to explode out some of the internals like LPARs, the software that's running on the LPARs, and really drill down into the components in an intuitive way. Over here we have uh, some of the communications infrastructure, the rack of servers on the top there are XML RPC channel banks, one channel per data center. The ring in the center is the actual switch, if you will, so it's actually uh, parsing, decrypting, and, and uh, dispatching packets of the protocol I mentioned earlier onto this holographic network. 
the repeaters that you see there send the signals, uh, the packets down uh, through these uh, network links to another repeater which then broadcasts them out to the floor for the models to pick up. So that concludes our quick tour of the Virtual Network Operations Center and uh, thank you for taking the time to join us on this tour.